Well, hello and welcome to the People's News Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 2nd, 2021. Welcome to the New Year's and I hope you guys had a very fabulous New Year's. I'm, I apologize I didn't broadcast yesterday. I was actually feeling way under the weather. Some friends invited me out to get a few drinks at their place and I sort of got sloshed, so I apologize for not being here yesterday. But today in news, we have a, uh, we we'll put pictures up over here for you guys. And it shows a canine cop being punched by his handler in California. And the police department said that the punches could be appropriate after a bystander's video services. So apparently a, a bystander actually caught a canine handler punching his dog, which is never a good idea. And let's see if they still defend it after it goes to court or if it actually goes to the prosecutor. And on other news, we have Mike Richardson, a former Chicago Bear who was on the Super Bowl winning of 1985 to 1986 has been arrested in connection with a homicide in Phoenix. Wow. Superstars go to, go to thug life. How nice is that, right? And a new year means that there's the beginning of a new Capitol Hill, a new Congress, basically meaning that our Congress of Representatives will basically be, well, new. We're going to wait until the 6th when the, the Georgia runoffs come out. And hopefully we either have two Democrats seats filled or two Republican seats filled. And Portland police declares a riot as New Year's Eve protest gets out of control. Property was damaged by protesters, shot fireworks at a federal court building on New Year's Eve. Isn't that nice? Let's shoot fireworks at a federal court building and... Hopefully they don't catch us on camera, right? And then U.S. Representative, I can't even say his name, Gohmert, G-O-H-M-E-R-T, <laughs> in case I was, so I'm going to put a picture up, says he was not advocating violence in an interview about electoral lawsuit. He says, I have not incurred or basically convoyed, conveyed any way to advocate violence, said in a statement, I have a longer advocate for following the teachings of the example of Mr. Martin Luther King Jr. on a peaceful protest. And then we also have a former employee of a Wisconsin medical, I, I covered this in a few days ago in one of my things for you guys, but um, medical center forced 500 doses of COVID-19 vaccine to get thrown out after Intermediately removing dozens of vials from the refrigeration. Then we also have Senator um, Mitch McConnell torn over Trump's Electoral College challenge of Biden. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is urging the Republicans to avoid a confrontation. And then millions of U.S. renters are basically are bracing for the possibility of having a to show up in a housing court to avoid getting evicted. But unlike their landlords, only a small fraction of them will do so with, frankly, by an attorney, basically. And then a nurse was initially told she would have to pay for her groceries a second time before Walmart reversed its decision because apparently the nurse is on quarantine and said that her online grocery order never came. And then GOP sender rebukes dangerous ploy to fight Biden victory. Republican Senator Ben Sass has issued a point rebuke of GOP attempts to object to January 6th to the Electoral College tally of the presidential election, warning colleagues against a dangerous ploy that could damage the nation's civic traditions. And then the IRS said that they have started to dispute the checks via direct deposit. And that was a few days ago. The people that direct deposit have actually started for the um the six hundred dollar stimulus check, and they said they're going to be mailing out actually paper ones, as well as people are, a select few amount of people are going to receive the special debit card meant for the, the um stimulus checks. I'll get into that to my stimulus my stimulus check update here in a minute, and I think you guys might or may or may not like this one, but um. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's home in Louisiana was vandalized. And on the front door, it says, where's my money? On the front of Mitch McConnell's front door. This is, that's a good one. I like that one. And then also this one. 
Jose's home vandalized. The graffiti says, cancel rent and we want everything possibly refinancing coronavirus stimulus checks. There's also a severed head in the pool of a red paint left on the front of the garage door. Wow. They did, they just vandalized Mitch McConnell's, but they just completely go off the handle for Pelosi's. Wow. How nice is that? Again, we got bald eagles come back basically in Indiana. Bald eagles had all but been vanished from Indiana by the late 20th century. However, thanks to a successful re reintroduction effort, the national bird has been removed from the state's species of special concern to list. How nice is that? Ex-GOP sender suggests forming new party calls Trump's ringmaster of Republicans. New Republican Party, William Cohen, a former Republican senator from Maine and defense secretary under former President Clinton, blasts GOP lawmakers challenging the result of the 2002 Sorry, the 20, 2020 presidential elections. And then frustrations flare up as the $2,000 checks get blocked for a fourth time by Mitch McConnell. And then Senator Mike Braun, other GOP senator, and other GOP senators say they will reject election results. You're still in total election results, the electoral fraud thing? I mean, come on, really? Just because you're Republican doesn't mean you actually have to go you know, kiss their ass. And then uh, GOP senator says, he will reject election. This is Senator Tom Cruise saying the same thing. The last one was Senator Mike Braun. This is Senator Tom Cruise saying he's going to reboot the reject the election results unless commission is formed. Now on to the nice, wonderful. Okay, let's just put this way. It's on to the stimulus news. How about that? Make it easy for you guys. The Treasury did say that some people will be chosen to receive the new stimulus debit card. Different from the first stimulus card. So apparently they have two uh, stimulus cards out there. Uh, I haven't received one yet, but they say that, um, of course, I probably haven't been selected because it basically says that no one didn't, they didn't say who was chosen for this program. So, I mean, I might be chosen, I might not be chosen. I actually have no idea. But to let you know, the debit card most likely went out to those without direct deposits. Which basically says that if you don't have a direct deposit, you'd most likely receive a stimulus check debit card. But they said it's on a select amount of people, so basically not everyone's going to receive a debit card. Some will actually receive a paper check for six hundred dollars. So if you don't have a direct deposit, they said either look in the mail for a paper check or a stimulus debit card. Otherwise, direct deposits will happen for you guys if it hasn't already. And on the, the $2,000 stimulus tech legislation, despite Lindsey Graham's disagreeing with Mitch McConnell, the checks haven't even looked at, been on the Senate floor yet, basically, because Mitch McConnell is cock blocking them, so I say. Mitch McConnell said that the um, Democratic $2,000 direct payment, or stimulus checks as they're called, was socialism for the rich. Well, Senator Lindsey Graham replied to, to that with a tweet. And the tweet said, with all due respect to my Republican colleagues, a $2,000 direct payment for the individuals and families who are struggling is not socialism. It, in my view, it is necessary in the times we live in. And you know what? I actually agree with them on that. Because there's, right now with this pandemic out there, and we get mutated versions of it now, because we have one in Colorado, the guy got isolated and put in quarantine. I mean, $2,000 is a drop in the bucket compared to how much they really owe the people because if we've had what two stimulus packages actually passed to help the people out this year the first one was a twelve hundred dollar direct payment via the um, cares act and now we have this the current the 900 billion dollar uh, act out there that gives you 600 bucks well i mean how is that socialism for the rich i mean that doesn't make any sense they're not two thousand dollars isn't going to make you rich in fact, it must say go to keep you alive. And let's see, I lost my place. Mitch was looking for an excuse not to put the, the um, $2,000 stimulus check standalone bill on the Senate floor. <sighs> but apparently since they have until noon tomorrow to actually look at this bill and get it passed for the standalone $2,000 stimulus check, 
most likely chances are it will end with the 2000 sorry the um 116th congress and it'll start a brand new with the 117th congress and if that happens that means that the bill is going to have to be reintroduced all the way back to the house and voted on all over again by the house before it can go back to the senate to get revoted on and most likely chances are is with what's going on with Mr. Connell's house and Nancy Pelosi's house, most likely chances won't pass the Senate just because of Mr. Connell. Because he said he he refused to put the two thousand dollar standalone bill on the floor of the Senate without killing it with poison pills first. The poison pill be, pills being the uh, reform, another form, yeah, I think the reform or uh, repeal of Section two thirty for Communications Act. Limiting liability to big social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter, as well as putting a congressional uh, committee together to look at the 2020 November election frauds. And as I pointed out to you guys, the Democrats don't believe that there is widespread electoral, electoral fraud, but Trump does, and so do some of his supporters. So we'll see what happens. But basically, Mitch McConnell don't really care about what the president that has less than two weeks in office has to say. So uh, that's why I think he's cock blocking the whole two thousand dollar stimulus check and he's he's burning time so he doesn't have to put the two hundred and three the section two hundred three repeal in there plus the congressional um uh electoral fraud committee because those would basically be two wasted money because the electoral uh fraud committee would basically be Democrats and Republicans deciding if there's electoral fraud, if there is, what to do about it and how to correct it. But for now, this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. So you guys have a wonderful January 2nd, 2020. And I hope you guys, like I said, I said again, hope you guys have a wonderful or had a wonderful, wonderful New Year's. And I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow, January 3rd, 2021. Until then, you guys have a wonderful night.